Now at five, we are tracking the tropics and the just formed tropical depression 11. It's out in the Atlantic and we will be following it closely. So let's get right out to our chief meteorologist, Craig Setzer, with the latest information that's just in. Craig. Yeah, this was a little uh, tropical wave we were watching the past couple of days. We knew we'd have to keep an eye on it because it was moving to the west, but the conditions were only marginally favorable, but it's been able to overcome that and reaching the classification now as Tropical Depression 11. Winds at 35 miles an hour, moving to the west at about 16, pretty good speed, uh, which we normally see down here in the deep tropics about 450 miles east of the Lesser Antilles there. Now here's the threat cone and it shows where the center is expected to be. That's the white outline and also where the tropical storm conditions are expected to be because it is forecast to become tropical storm. Josephine, we're already to the J letter and this is the Friday time frame, Saturday time frame and Sunday time frame. Of course, the islands are going to be watching here. You can see how the tropical storm conditions kind of fade out towards the end here. Uh, that's because of two things. That's because, one, the uncertainty opens up here, but it's also because it is forecast to weaken in this time frame over the weekend. Now, what's going on is there's a lot of hostile conditions ahead of it. I will talk more about that in a bit, but first off, close-up look. And you can see there it is, kind of sputtering along. Now it is sheared for the time being. There's where the center is, and that's where all the thunderstorm activity is being blown. Conditions are expected to become more favorable before they become unfavorable. Uh, more on that in our local forecast coming up.